In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Hostinger domain to your Wix website. Now, if you follow this video, you should have a step-by-step -step tutorial, which explains exactly what you need to do. So follow along and I'll show you what you need to do here. So first, we want to go ahead and go to Hostinger. And once you're inside of Hostinger and on the dashboard, you then should see all of your domains. If you can't see the domain you want, go ahead and go to the domain section on Hostinger. And then you can scroll down and you obviously need a domain here to connect to Wix. Now, one more thing that you need on Wix, you need to be on a Wix premium plan. So go to your website, go ahead and select and edit website. And then once you're here, you want to go to upgrade and that will show you all of the premium plans. So I'm just on the light plan just for this video. You can see current plan, but you can choose any of these plans. I recommend though you just choose the cheapest one if you're just getting started with Wix. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the dashboard of our Wix website and we can connect the domain here or if you don't see this, you just want to go to settings, then scroll down and go to domains. And then once you're on domains, you should then see this box where we can now type in our domain. So you want to go to domains on Hostinger and then choose the domain that you're going to connect. I'm going to connect this one here, knowledgebaseonline.com. So I'll just go ahead and copy this domain. We can then paste in that domain into this box and then click let's go. Once you've done that, it's going to ask if your domain is owned by you. So it's obviously taken already because it's registered on Hostinger. So is this your domain? Click yes, I own this domain. Now it's going to find your domain provider. And from here, we can connect our domain to the website. So if you go ahead and scroll down here, it's going to give you more information. How long does it take? Up to 48 hours. And then after 48 hours, your domain will be fully available to use. So go ahead and click start. And then what you need to do now is log in to your domain provider. So we should already be logged in. If not, go ahead and log into Hostinger. So click I've logged in and it will take you to the next step where you need to find your domain settings page. And we need to go ahead and find the domain settings page on Hostinger. So go ahead and click on your domain or just go to manage next to your domain here. So once you've done that, you then want to go ahead and click I found my domain settings. Then what we need to do is find the name servers area, which I'll show you how to find. And we need to go ahead and find our current name servers. So if we go ahead and go to Hostinger, your name servers will be on the DNS slash name servers area. And then here are our current name servers, which match the ones that Wix have on their website. So click I found the name servers. Now you need to replace those name servers with Wix's custom name servers. So go ahead and copy the first one and you need to replace the first name server with this one here. So copy this one. Once you've got the first one copied, you want to then go back to your Hostinger, click change name servers, change name servers again, and then paste in the first one in the first box. Then go back to Wix and we'll just go through this again. And then you just want to copy the second name server, go back to Hostinger and paste it in the second name server box, then click save. Now you can see that your name servers have been changed and it can take up to 24 hours for this change to come into effect. Click close out of this. Now go back to Wix and just say I've replaced my name servers and it's now going to verify the connection and check to see if you've done this correctly. And there you go. Everything is done on your end. All you've got to do now is wait up to 24, even between 24 and 48 hours, and then your website will be live with your new domain. If you followed everything that I've done, you can't go wrong. That's basically all you need to do. You can go ahead and check your website now and again, but just give it up to 48 hours for the changes to be in effect. That's how you do it. I hope that video did help you out.